Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be fun, light, airy, kind of like what I'm feeling today to be honest. I just really want it to play a little bit of color, keep it soft and elegant and I'm using a really exciting palette in this tutorial. And that is I'll Be There For You eyeshadow palette inspired by friends from Peachy Queen. I'll indicate the link where you can get your own in the info box down below for you guys. But overall, this is a palette that I am so excited about. I'm a huge Friends fan, as you're going to see in the tutorial, I'll be talking about it. But this is what inspired me today. Um, I was actually watching Friends not too long ago with my husband. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get up and film the tutorial, and here it is. I just wanted to do something soft and elegant, like I said, but using this palette, now you're gonna see the colors in this palette. They're quite funky, uh, they're quite out there. So. There's a lot of possibilities to play around with this palette. There's a lot of things to do with the palette as well. Also, please stay tuned till the end of this video. I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you guys want to see what you want to win, head on to my Instagram or stay tuned till the end of this video to know all about the giveaway. Now, if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. All right, so I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. So I do have some redness, I do have some acne going on right now. So I'm trying to cover all of this up. I also have some like pimples here and there, but yeah, let's cover those babies up. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I love this stuff. I like to use this with my fingers, and I use two pumps, and I put that everywhere all over my face. I find this really helps with keeping the foundation on for so long, but also since I have dry skin lately, this really helps to keep my face quite moisturized. I also like it because it has that like tackiness. I don't know if you guys can see. I love that feeling. I love when a primer does that because you know that the foundation is gonna stick on. I'm just gonna get that hair out of my way. I've, I normally hate wearing these things. I hate headbands, I hate all of this. Um, I just don't like it on me, but let's see if I can just keep the hairs in place. I look quite ridiculous. Anything to keep my hair out of my face, I'm happy with it. So if I look quite ridiculous right now, then I'm going to go ahead and use my foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fix foundation. I'm trying to finish up what I have in stock. I literally did a huge cleanup. In my makeup room and I threw out so many things and I still have this one so I'm like you know what let's use it let's finish it up and I'm just going to bring the product down a bit and I'm just gonna dab whatever I have in the back of my hand here and this time I'm going to be using a new sponge this is a sponge from my good friend Nadia she created she had crown lashes before if you guys have seen I've reviewed crown lashes a lot here on my channel but now she has a new company a new brand that she decided to do and it's called MFMA I'll do a whole separate video talking about it because she has also lashes now she has sponges and I am quite excited about this one seen her post so many pictures about this and I really wanted to try. Now I'm a sucker for sponges if you guys don't know and I always like to try new sponges but lately all I've been using other than the beauty blender the classic beauty blender you have the morphe sponge and um, as you guys can see I have another beauty blender here this I'm gonna be using on my eyes but this is going to be for the face and you can use it with moisturizers you can also put some setting spray on it to blend your foundation there's a method that I've never honestly used on myself but I did use on my clients and I love the finish so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna take my all-nighter spray put a little bit on the sponge and put my foundation with that. Now the sponge has a like a rounded shape here, but then it cuts off here. It has like a smooth side. And this is the wet one. When it's not wet, it looks like this. So it does expand a lot in size. And um, the feel is amazing. Like it is so fluffy and it's so soft and it's just really nice to hold even when it's dry as well it's really really nice to hold it's quite comfortable you really get like the good grip 
of it if that if you know what i mean and they come in a pack of three which is awesome and i think she has a promotion on right now i'm not sure if it's still running on her website but i'll indicate it in the info box down below i think you get three for 20 if i'm not mistaken which is a very good price but let's get started this foundation is running in the back of my hand here so i'm just gonna take it and i'm going to bounce it all over my face hmm. i can tell you this definitely feels super nice on the skin i love the sponge and i love how it's applying the foundation on my skin and i love how it feels on my skin too it's like super soft and it's really making the job super easy for me Let's go ahead and put some concealer on. So I'm going to be using the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced and this is in shade Almond. And I'm going to apply some under my eyes. I like to put dots for some reason. A little bit on the forehead, nose and chin. And I'm gonna take the sponge again. I'm using the same side. I'm always using the flat side. And I'm just going to blend out the concealer. I love how it's applying it. I love it because the pointy shape that the sponge has really makes it easy to get into the little corners of the eye and blend out, especially. And yeah, I definitely love this. I'm gonna go ahead and do some contouring. I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation stick and this is in shade Abyss Ababa. Um, and I'm gonna go add this, add this, A-D-D-I-S, add this, Ababa, A-B-A-B-A. -A -A. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face using this product and I love this foundation stick. I find it really helps to contour. I mean, I love the shade that it gives me. It gives me like a nice bronzed look and who doesn't love that and i'm just gonna go ahead and do the lips as well just a little bit because i love this technique i actually learned this from huda beauty and i love it and i'm just gonna do a little bit here as well and i like to do this little guy down there too i'm not used to blending the contour with a sponge so i'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush for this one for the brush, I am using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is the JH03 and lightly buff out the contour into my skin. Now the contour is fully blended. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight a little bit. I am using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and this is in shade C13. And I'm just going to dab a little bit just the areas that I like to highlight now. A little bit on the nose. And that's all. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the sponge again and blend it all out. I'm gonna go ahead and set the face slash bake as well. And I'm using the Juvia's Place setting powder. This is called I Am Magic Setting Powder in Sahara and I'm just going to take it with actually the sponge this time as well and I'm going to grab, this is how the powder looks like, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of that powder and I'm going to set my under eye with it. So I have the powder set for a couple of seconds now. I'm gonna go ahead and dust it all off and I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH01. And I'm just going to lightly dust it off, but also blend it all over the face just to set everything in place. And to let everything really set very well, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I'm just going to spray that everywhere. While that's going to be setting on my face, I'm going to go ahead and fill my eyebrows off camera. And the products I'll be using is the Benefit 3D Brow Tone in shade 2. 
Then I'm going to be using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in shade Brunette. And then one of my favorite products ever for the brows, this is the NYX Precision Pencil, Brow Pencil, and this is in shade Ash Brown. So I'll go ahead and fill in the eyebrows and come back for the eye tutorial. This is the eye look that I decided to do today. I wanted to some I wanted something really light, um, a little bit colorful, not too much, but I just really like it. It's just soft and it just suits my mood today basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a base on. I'm using the P. Louise with my small beauty blender. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm going to be taking a color from my Lime Crime Venus palette and I'm going to be taking the light shade, this one right here. This one is called Aura and I'm going to grab it with a fluffy brush. This is from Jacqueline and Morphe and this is the JH36 brush and I'm going to put that under the brows just to, you know, brighten up the brow bone area and I'm also going to pat that in the inner corners as well and just blend it out i'm just going to brighten up the eye to start off with because the next palette i'm going to be using does not have a light shade which i basically gagged a little bit but i think i'll let it pass this time because i just love the palette so much so this light shade really is going to just bring the whole look together i find just a little dab of something then the next palette i'm going to be using it is from peachy queen and this is called i'll be there for you now it's pretty much iconic it's the show that everybody loves friends and i'm a huge huge friends fan i love everybody i love the show my husband and i watch it over and over all the time and we laugh every time we just love the characters we love the show so much and when i saw this palette i'm like oh my god i need to have this in my collection and my husband did not even doubt he's like you better buy this palette and i absolutely love it so it's a small palette it's kind of like the size of my head if you say and it has a lot of funky colors in here uh, first of all it comes with a big mirror as you guys can see this is my camera and then it says pivot on the top and then you have new york city down here which is so brilliant i love it and then you have all the shades so this is what it looks like so it's a pretty colorful bright palette like i said there isn't a light shade in here you might think this is light but it's actually a shimmery pink shade that i will be using on my eyes today but this is what it looks like i really wanted to dip into the greens but i thought i'll do that in another video if you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette let me know and i'll play around with the greens and the kind of like a lime color which is really really pretty and i just absolutely love it the names are just iconic on this palette the names describes friends so much and i just love it now if you haven't watched friends you probably won't understand half of the names in here but if you are a friends fan you will get each name that's in this palette i absolutely love it so so much so i think i'll go ahead and do a rundown on the names just to kind of you know make it fun so you have the orange shade is called pivot and then you have how you doing you have oh my god <laughs> and then you have smelly cat and you have yemen down here days of our lives moo point naked guy seven got off the plane trifle we're on the break this one the reason why i'm laughing because it just each one of them reminds me of a specific episode which is really funny and then you have pentatologist sorry i can't spell that word so well but this is what ross does which is amazing frankie says relax central perk and drink the fat down here which is so cute i just cannot stop giggling just reading the names of this palette it really 
really brings a memory of each and every episode to my head and I love it so much. Now, if you watch Friends, you're probably like, oh my God, yes, I remember this, I remember that, uh, which is kind of like the first emotion or the first feeling I got when I opened the palette too. It just this palette quite means a lot to me and my husband and we just love friends so much and talking about that i actually do have the picture frame at my actual door i bought it from ebay i think and we put it on the door i really have this yellow frame at my door as well so you can tell that i'm a friends freak so we'll just we'll keep it that way i guess <laughs> So the first shade I'm going to be taking from the palette is called Frankie Say Relax. It's kind of basically relax in my favorite shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm using the Morphe and Jacqueline brush as well. This is DJH34. And I'm just going to basically apply this color all over my crease area. It just really, it helps like, for me the shade is kind of like a really nice transition shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my crease area. Next, I'm taking a bigger fluffy brush. This is also from Morphe and Jacqueline. This is the JH32, and I'm gonna be taking Pevit, this bright orange right here. I'm gonna dip my brush in there like maybe two, three times. This color is very pigmented. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna dust it right on top of Frankie Says Relax. And I'm going to just put that right on the top. I really wanna have kind of like a sunset moment with this shade and not having it super overwhelm everything, even though you think it does, but it's such a nice faded color. And if you want it to be a little bit more brighter, you can just go ahead and build it up, but I'm just gonna keep a light hand on this since I'm feeling quite light and airy today. So this is kind of like my mood today for some reason. Next color I'm taking is called Trifle, which is this bright, it's kind of like a pinky coral kind of shade. I really like it. And I'm taking it with a small flat shader brush. This is the 239 brush from MAC. And I'm just gonna take it and pack it in the middle and then kind of drag the color toward the outer crease or like the outer lid area. So I'm just gonna pack it like so, and I'm just going to just keep packing it. Now this shade, you definitely need like a white base under, so it can stick a little bit more, but since I'm going very light and kind of like a dusty shade today, this is okay if it looks a little bit lighter than normal. So I'm just gonna take the same brush that I used at the beginning, and I'm just going to blend it into the other colors that I have there as well. Now I am going over it a little bit more just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more. And I'm gonna take the same first brush and I'm just going to lightly fade it off. The next shade is called Days of Our Lives and it's this one right here. I'm taking it with a little small shader brush, if you wanna say. This is a really old brush that I have. It's from Coastal Sense. Do you guys remember Coastal Sense? Oh my God, <laughs> I love that website so much. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take these of our lives and I'm going to pack it in the inner corners of the eye. And I'm also going to be putting it right on top of the white that I applied at first. And I'm just going to start fading this shade upwards and into trifle as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of Central Perk with the same first brush that I used and I'm going to just apply this on the outer corners just to deepen up the eye just a tiny bit and I'm going to blend it out. I'm gonna take the, the brush that I used the orange with and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out like that. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead with the blues. So the first blue I'm going to be taking is called How You Doing, which is this bright blue color right here. And I'm taking it with a flat shader brush. And this is a an old brush. I don't even have the name written on it because it's smudged out. I'm sorry guys, but it's a flat brush. It looks like this. And I'm gonna take how you doing and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line and I'm going to lightly start blending it out and smoking it out if you guys don't know me by now I love to have a smoked out lower lash line and I'm just going to take it and start smoking it out girl just smoke it out it is the look that I like to do and I like to have. Next, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of Yemen, which is a deep navy shimmery shade. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner just to give it definition. Then I'm taking seven and I'm gonna take it with a smaller brush. This is another brush that I had such a long time ago. This is also from Coastal Scents. And I'm taking seven and I'm going to put it in the inner corners of my eye. I just took a little bit of Aura from the Lime Crime palette, Aura right here, and I'm just, I went ahead and I dusted the inner corners a little bit just to kind of brighten it up. That's what I felt like doing, brightening it up a little bit. I'm gonna take How You Doing again, and I'm going to just lightly start blending it all together. This is a brush that I have nothing on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the blue on the outer corners right here. I have nothing on this brush. In the waterline, I'm using a blue liner. This is from MAC. These are the chromographic liners, and this is called High Def Cayenne. And I'm going to put that on the waterline. I'll go ahead and curl my lashes. Apply mascara. I'm using the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is my top favorite one. And I'm just going to coat my upper lashes. And then for lashes, I'm using the MFMA Pro Light Lash. They look like this. The box of those look like that. So they come in a pack of five. I'll go ahead and apply these on my eyes and I'll be back to show you guys the rest of the face. All right, then this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I used on my face to finish up the look. So I went out and I used my Becca bronzer. This is the Capri Coat or Coast bronzer from Becca. And I just applied it like I normally do my bronzer, like contouring my face. And then for blush and highlight, I used one palette. And I used the NARS palette. And this is the exposed cheek palette I went ahead and I used this shade right here in the middle for blush and then I used this one for highlight and I when applying this one I did use a little bit of my setting spray on the brush to go ahead and apply it on my face just to kind of like show off just a little bit more highlighted and then for lips I went ahead and I did my favorite mix at the moment and forever I just love this mix so much and I went ahead and I used my hover lip liner from Mac and I used Jeffree Star liquid velour lipstick and this one is mannequin and these together I find it gives me a really nice nude subtle look and I wanted it to be soft on the lips as well so this is kind of my mood today you guys soft subtle airy I don't know elegant for some reason but this is the look that I came up with today so I am doing a small giveaway on my Instagram so you can go ahead and follow my Instagram the winners are also going to be on Instagram as well everything's going to be announced on there now if you don't have Instagram I highly apologize but if you do I'm giving away 
a set of the MFMA sponges right here and I'm also giving away this is one of the purchases that I did for myself for my clients but I'm willing to sacrifice one for you guys one for my followers and I'm giving away a set of the MFMA Pro Lash Light and as like I mentioned in the video these come in a set of five and they look like this so I'm giving away a pair a box of those and I'm also giving a box of the MFMA sleek sponge as well I rave about these lashes all the time I use them all the time on my clients that's the only lashes that's the only brand that I use on my clients right now and it goes well on everybody you can also cut them to your size and use any lash glue you have now if you want a lash glue there's also on the mfma the crown lashes lash glue check it out it's one of my favorite lash glue ever this giveaway is going to be on my instagram page only so please go ahead and follow my instagram read the rules and enter if you'd like to win these this giveaway is going to be for the states and canada unfortunately i'm not doing this a worldwide thing due to everything that's going on right now in the world i just don't want to get into a trouble if anything that's going to happen so i'm just going to open this giveaway for canada and the states at the moment i highly ap apologize for all my international people that watches me and that supports me but definitely i'm going to be doing more giveaways in the future and it's going to be international but for now these two are going to be only in canada and the states so this is the end of this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to create more tutorials or more looks using the I'll Be There For You palette from Peachy Queen. Like I said, I really want to play around with the green tones in the palette. So let me know if you want more tutorials using the palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!